everyone and welcome this is jane from janeliberated.com i am here once again to add value to your life by helping you overcome fear shame resentment and you will never get stuck again in life how to turn your fear to becoming confidence most times in our lives we are so scared of what will happen if we embark on our journey the journey of life we usually come with obstacles with stress but I am here to tell you today that fear is false evidence appearing real when you are so scared of embarking in your journey of life when you allow stress of this world to take over the presence of God in your life, you will be scared of everything in this world. But according to the Bible, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. The book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. When you know this, you will become bold and confident to face whatever stands in front of you. Take a look at Romans 5. You will understand that everything that work against our plans equally will make us a better person and a bold and confident person. How do you take that news? How do you handle that disappointment? How do you react to that financial crisis? Are you scared that you can never come up again? Are you scared that you can never get that job again? Are you scared that that marriage that has, that has scattered that you will never get married again? All these are the work of the spirit of fear. The devil knows that he is a liar. He comes in different ways into our lives to manipulate our thoughts, to disturb our state of mind so that we will live in perpetual fear. But I'm here to tell you today that when you read the book of Romans 5, you will find out that everything that caused us that tribulation, everything that makes us to be shaken, to be scared, when you are patient, it will take you out of that place with experience. And when experience, when you are experienced, you begin to have hope that things will surely and definitely work out for your good. And when hope is in place in your life, when you know and you believe you had, you've had the experience from your past mistakes, definitely you are going to start living in a place of security and confidence. You will no longer be ashamed of anything. But because why? You have confidence in God. You have become bold. Let me quickly drop a story for you. When I was pregnant with my last child, she's almost eight now, I got to know or I got a news from the doctor that she is going to be a handicapped child. As a mother, you will get scared. The first reaction that you will get as a human being is, so, oh, you are going to be scared. But as time goes on and I knew that the devil is at it again, I saw more courage in the word of God. I began to say, God, you know my heart. Let your will be done. I am nobody to judge. I am nobody to change the situation. But my faith and hope in you will surely change the situation. And lo and behold, she came out healthy. What is that situation in front of you today? Turn that fear in you today into confidence and boldness. 
irrespective of the situation that might be in front of you today, know that God is still God. He can still change that situation that seems impossible for you. He can still change that situation that seems impossible for the doctors, for, the, for anywhere you have been to. Still know that He is a God of justice. And when the time comes, he is going to turn that situation around that we amaze any wound that he has it. If God can do it for me, definitely yours will not be different. Hold on to sound and true gospel of God. Stop jumping from place to place believing that there is someone out there that will help you. When you have God in your life, when you allow the Holy Spirit to take over your life, you are going to turn that fear of the devil into becoming confidence in God, knowing fully well that when you go in the strength of God, you will overcome any obstacles in front of you. I hope I have succeeded in adding just another value to your life today. Please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Encourage someone out there today. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that as soon as a video is being uploaded, you will be the first to be notified. Have a fantastic day. But remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all.